Hello to all my fellow wig lovers. So if you do follow me on TikTok, you see my viral wig and it's this cute glow in a dark pink. She is from V Show Hair and she comes with all of these goodies. The specs on her is that she is 22 inches. She's 180% density and she's also a 13 by four lace front. Um, and if you didn't know, cause I got a lot of questions on my TikTok, she came this color. Isn't that bomb? So I did wash the wig and bleach the knots when I got it. So that's why I'm straightening the wig, but she came straight already and the color didn't bleed at all. So if you look very closely, when I do put the flat iron on the wig, you can see that it turns kind of like a purplish color, but once it cools down, it goes back to this bright neon vibrant pink. See, look, I thought that was pretty cute. <laughs> this is human hair and also I had my flat iron on the highest setting and it didn't melt or anything. To give it a more polished look, I do this with all my wigs. I just trim the ends and cut off the little sparse pieces that I feel like could go. It just, this little step really like takes your wigs up like three notches. I think it just looks so much better. And you look like a baddie. I also love to add face framing layers when I am wearing my hair straight. I think it looks a little more polished, especially when you bump the ends under, it gives you a different look. You were wondering what the inside of the wig looked like it is this so the knots were still fairly pink but i feel like for the vibe it actually didn't look bad i was thinking because i did try to bleach the knots they didn't lift as fast and as um light as i wanted them to but it ended up working out because this lace was very very transparent and it blended right on in once I cut the lace, I basically install all my wigs the same. I haven't changed my wig install routine. So if you've seen any of my other videos, that's exactly how I'm going to install this one. find that when I use the freeze spray on transparent or HD lace it just helps it literally melt into my skin so that's what I used here and I'm starting to kind of shy away from the got to be gel just because it's so thick and it cakes up in the lace and it's just a lot harder to clean as opposed to the spray and it's a stronger hold so I mean I'll still use it if I'm going to wear the wigs for um, a longer period of time but you know I change my hair a lot, so <laughs> this is perfect for me. Now, slap you a scarf on until your hairline is dry. One thing about color hair, girl, if you're gonna wear something bright like this, or this is just my personal preference, something this bright and colorful, you definitely need to wear something plain 
because you're already standing out as is and i think it just looks a lot better when you got on like just one solid color or white or black you know what i'm saying and she was so bright that she actually like was washing me out in the camera but that just goes to show how vibrant and neon this wig was i had to you know do a little segment with the light off so you can see it's so cute but yes, thank you so much to V Show Hair. Everybody follow me on TikTok. My TikToks are literally blowing up every other day. And thank you guys so much for watching me. I have new content coming and I love you so much. Bye.